Hey, YouTubers, how you doing? Anthony? <clears throat> Sorry about that. It's Anthony, um, New York pipe smoker. Um, allergies. It's kind of humid today in New York. Um, I didn't get a chance uh, this past weekend to do a video. Uh, I like to try at least a video a week. Uh, so I keep your interest. And uh, you don't think I disappear like some of the uh, YouTube uh, presenters. But um, issue being, oh, wow. Thunder's coming in. That means it's going to rain soon. Um, right off the top, my um, 50 subscriber uh, contest. Uh, I passed 50. Uh, again, surprised and happy. And uh, thank you to all the subscribers. And you can also notice uh, on today's uh, video, uh, I'm going to start editing in case. Um, I, I wand, I ramble too much sometimes, and I realized I, I was watching some of my videos. Um, what I like to start is, um, of course, right, as soon as um, I start the video, my phone has to go on, um, as it is anyway, on my uh, contest, I do have a winner, um, now, let me pronounce it correctly, it's Nunya Damned Business, um, sent in a VR, describing some stuff that he had, um, he doesn't have a local B&M, but he had some uh, tobacco f um, blended from a uh, tobacco shop that was sent to him uh, through friends, through the community. Anyway, gave a um, reasonable uh, description on the smoke. I like it, actually. Um, you know, I um, feel a little bad that um, I didn't get a lot of uh, responses. Actually, we have another one that's going to be coming in. Um, I got a... Uh, uh, a uh, message, a comment from Cali Peace Pipe, I believe, oh boy, I hope I didn't make a mistake, and um, she's going to send me a video response and on some tobacco, so since um, none your damn business sent me a response, did like his uh, uh, video, uh, he won the grand prize, which uh, included the tin of Costello's Sea Rock, the aromatic, the aromatic and the English from my uh, brick and mortar, and also the pipe. Um, he'll be picking the pipe. I had two different pipes. I showed it at the end of the last video. And to hurry it up, um, the first prize winner will have a sample of the two tobaccos and also um, from my tin, uh, at least two bowls, if not a little bit more, of the Costello Sea Rock so she could try it. Um, you'll be seeing the cutoff because um, I'm going to try the smoke on my videos. Um, and here we go. Here's my trademark. You're, you're seeing my video inside my car again. It just happens that um, I'm a manager. I'm in construction. And um, I do either construction management or supervision. And I always bounce around. And the best time, the best quiet time is, of course, in my car. Uh, between, the, uh, between the sites, between the uh, projects. Um, anyway, you'll be, on this video, another reason why I postponed it was that I had a uh, pipe that was coming in, so I guess it's called a Yapo, and at the same time, I figured since we, we, we were talking about uh, shop blends, Big Star Cigar has a blend uh, that someone gave me up here in New York, they ordered, what was it, 8 ounces of the uh, Delta Mojo. I actually smoked uh, about two pipes already, two balls. I'll be smoking one more right before I do the review. Um, so, hope that today it's not as long as usual and the um, information is clear. And as I said, um, congratulations to the two uh, winners of my contest. Here's part two. Smoking Delta Mojo. And grab the other. Good. 
pretty good. Let me see if it comes through. The ribbon cut. Oop, just lost a little bit. Nice bright Virginias. A lot of Kia. It's got good flavor. When um, I check the aroma in the bag, uh, what came through was that barbecue for Latakia. But um, also something uh, piquant, um, a certain kind of spice. And um, that's why I wanted to do a review. Um, I kind of like this. It's a, it was a Big Star Cigars own uh, store blend called Delta Mojo. And um, for an English, kind of like it. It's right in the middle. It's right there with the best of them. The barbecue flavor that they talk about comes through the smokiness. It's right in the middle of the line because um, there's a lot, a lot of Kia blends that the, um, at least for me, on my palate, um, a steely note comes up. They're saying that that's the barbecue flavor that everyone's talking about, the smokiness from the tobacco. This one's right in the middle of the road. I kind of enjoy it. And there's um, a flavor that comes in through the retro hair. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of oak. When I used to do the barbecue and uh, I used some smoked oak. Um, to me, this is one of the more refined, even though uh, it doesn't come from, let's say, a well-known blender. It seems to be an uh, in-house blend. It's a pretty refined taste. I would recommend it. I know the guys at the club tried this already. We all said that it's something that we would uh, put in our rotation. For, for the price, I would say this is something to try, um, pick up, and... Um, most likely that one's going to be the same way. They're going to put in their rotation or drop it in their cellar and always go back to it. I'm trying to see if I can pick up the flavors, the uh, different tones in English. And the only thing I can tell you is that it comes in for me, but it's hard to describe. smokiness comes in but it's not a strong smokiness it's almost as if you're eating a, a, a barbecue meat and um, that flavor comes on the palate as soon as you take the first few bites also I noticed this when I was um, smoking at the um, at the club. As you get down the bowl, um, a, secret, a sweetness comes through. It could be the Virginia. It could be the whole blend. But um, again, um, my take on this tobacco is something I would like all my viewers to try. I believe that most likely, um, I'm going to say more than 50%, are going to put it on their rotation, at least... Uh, a go-to blend later on during the year, you know, try something different as far as in English. As always, uh, here's my short review. I hope it's uh, enough to work on. Again, I like the flavor on the uh, on the palate, and there is a creaminess in the smoke. I just realized that. That's a good description.
and there's something about the retro here. I can't exactly put a, uh, a taste on it, but it's a different taste. Um, as always, tamp lightly, smoke slowly, and enjoy.